what I love about my baby tooth, I fit a PV cycle, three millimeter frame, is that is um, very rigid, very strong. You can hardly flex it this way. You can flex it a little bit this way, and um, so if the it flies really well. So I'm using the uh, 1303 RC in power FPV cycle uh, motors, 5000 kV motors, uh, and uh, nameless RC, uh, nameless RC, all in one 412T board, and uh, Runke Nano 2. The racer X tweak canopy, Jam Fang Hurricane prop, and a twenty five milliwatt BTS, which I took it off from the uh, racer X tweak MS you know, racer X tweak. So this quad current in its current setup is basically the same as a Razer S trick, I set the prop and the motor and the frame. So if I move all this to the uh, Razer S trick, MS you know, um, so the only things different from the original MS you know, Razer S trick is the, the the prop and the motor, and um, so this. Frame, I, I like this frame, but there are some two things that need to be changed uh, in future um, batches or be future design. Uh, the first one is this, because uh, this frame from which is produced by Beta FPV for FPV cycle. The the side uh, it's difficult to focus. Using my, um, so I've actually mostly f flew this um, over concrete, but I don't fly very high, just uh, very close to the ground. So there was some hard crashes, crashes, and uh, so the only the thing that I um, I think is a quality issue of the current Beta IPB uh, is a uh, frame. Is that the carbon actually the car carbon layer actually came off? So I think the carbon layer shouldn't came off like this because I think when the uh, carbon fiber the layers uh, when they are heat up uh, in very high temperature, it should fuse together into one piece only. So even in cr crushes, it shouldn't come off like this. So like for example, right the razor strip frame, even though I crush it, it's a two millimeter frame, crush it, uh, the, the edges, uh, they, they have scratches, but they don't come off, the layers don't come off like this. So this is, I think, is a quality issue from Beta FBV, uh, who made this frame for a FBV cycle. I think in future batches, uh, they should, Improve this one, you see, it's like this. So, good carbon fiber frame should not be like this. The other thing that uh, need to probably uh, need to be re redesigned a little bit is that because the 13 or 3 motors are larger, and because this um, the finger actually uh, is perpendicular to this uh, the arms, and so it's actually so this is true X arm. So it's actually when the, uh, in, the in the frontal crush, right? Frontal crush, for example, frontal crush like this. So the if if it crushed it like this, the the edge of the uh, the, the the arms will will touch the uh, the surface first, and then the second one it will hit. It's not the prop. It's actually the the motor, because the prop, uh, yeah, the the base, the bottom base of the uh, prop is actually higher, 
And so it goes, for example, it goes like this. It goes like this. So the second thing that will hit is the motor, uh, the bell. And uh, so I think this should be redesigned. The, the, the fingers, it should actually come to the front here, at the razor strip, further front to the front. So when it hits, the second thing that will hit is will not be the motor. It will be the the base of this prop. Because one thing is very um, risky for this this design is that what if there's a crush like this, and the first thing that hit is not the finger the 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 this uh, the finger of the leg. The first thing it will hit the wall or the concrete will be this will be the motor I think that's one of the reasons why the 1303 MX Sino frame was uh, motor was breaking because most people fly back in um, in 3S very high speed and I think most in most crushes, crushes the motor will hit the surface very very hard because they are flying very fast using 3A's I'm using 2A's um, I also fly fast very close to the ground and uh, luckily so far the, the motor has held very good except for some few scratches but, I st but I'll, I'll still be more comfortable if future design for this frame actually the protect protection of this arm actually comes to the front instead of to the side but overall, I love this uh, Kabak FEB or FEB cycle and design. Uh, this is as per Kabak's um, recommendation, the 1303, uh, 2S or 3S. I'm so far, I'm only using 2S, Beta FBBA, uh, LiPo non-HB, and uh, GMB non-HB, 3S. Um, so far, I love it. It's very smooth. And um, the the motor and the um, the battery are actually still cool after about eight or nine minutes flight, and um, so even if I flew three to four packs in a row, so that's about thirty, uh, almost about thirty minutes at least. The motors are still cool, and the bat and then bat all the batteries are not hot at all. So the good thing about this design is that it's very efficient and it doesn't stress the battery and doesn't stress the motor so which is good and uh, so I flew mostly um, uh, in acro line of sight so I love it so it fly very similar to my normal 5 inch in acro in, acro in uh, li line of sight and um, so I flew a little bit using acro um, this um, FBB and uh, it flew very similar to the 5 inch as well um, but if I have the uh, the 2 millimeter frame I think flying to uh, 2S using this setup the 2 millimeter frame will be sufficient enough and it might fly even better because it will be lighter for 2S setup I think the uh, 2 millimeter setup will be good for uh, this TP3 um, set up for using the 2S uh, LiPo you, I think it will be very fun as well but in this current setup 3mm is is light enough or heavy enough to feel very similar to a uh, the probably the power to weight ratio feels similar to a normal uh, 5 inch so that's why it, uh, it flies very similar to, to a 5 inch so so far I love it um, it's small very small not too dangerous, very smooth, very efficient um, no stress on the battery, so the battery will last longer and, you, and we need uh, less uh, space to fly this, especially line, line or side uh, for uh, this uh, FVB, of course we need um, bigger space uh, because the place that I'm flying is normally is just in front of my house so here we have fences and uh, mostly concrete so that's why I don't really fly FBB here. So I need to go to a, a bigger uh, park.
to fly FPV.、Uh, I'm not that used to flying FPV aircraft,、uh, but I'm more used to flying、uh, is、uh, line of sight. So so far, loving this. And so how I、uh, actually make it lighter? So actually, I use this、uh, the tap electrical tap. Instead of using the jib tie, I use I cut small pieces of electrical tape and I tie glue down、um, tie down the、uh, the arms with the electrical tape. So here and here, so it's a bit hard to see at the moment.、Right. So electrical tape is here and here. So I even use the、uh, electrical tape to tap the、uh, this the cable to the,、uh, from the.、Uh, Uh, the battery cable to the frame as well, and the other thing about this、uh, Genfem prop is that、um, it goes on very well and doesn't come off easily. But after probably about twenty thirty flights, this、uh, the the prop become very difficult to take off. So at the moment, I can't take off three of my prop already、uh, because they are like very tight.、Uh, They are they are very tight and you can't even move them, right? So even I hold the bells, the motor bells, hard, very hard, and you can't really move the、uh, the prop. So very difficult to take them off. So the prop has held up very well, right? So I can't change them. So I still need to use this existing prop even after numerous crashes、uh, because if I can't really take them off. But so far they are still performing well.、Uh, So, and I just、um, twist the wire and goes and cut off a little bit from the end to, of the wire, and then、um, actually solder it from inside, bin beneath the、uh, the board.、Um, the reason why I don't want to go on top of the board is that it's cleaner like this, and the other thing is that if it goes on board,、um, so I have to cut the wire very short. So I don't want to cut the wire very short, even though it's heavier. Because、uh, from experience, if you cut the wire short, next time if you want to use it on other frames, which may be longer, um, um, so it's、uh, it's not that good. Because I want the flexibility of longer frame for、uh, the longer cable for future、uh, use. Of. And、uh, so far, the Nano Rangen Nano Two has performed well. This BTX, I don't have much problem because I don't fly very far at the moment.、Um, so I use jib tie here, and the the left over jib tie, I just、uh, push it through the hole here, so they hold my antenna, my receiver antenna here, right. So I make, so I use this.、Uh, Anti-vibration、uh, stuff, so that、uh, I use two here to make the canopy higher because there's very little space in here to place the、uh, the receiver and the、uh, the BTS together with the camera. And、uh, so I'm still thinking of how I'm going to install the、uh, the buzzer and put it in, where inside here. Uh, probably because I need, I probably need a buzzer, because this is small. Once it crash, it's very difficult to find the quad.、Right? So, highly recommended if you know how to build your own quad. If you don't know how to build your own quad, this is not recommended because it's、uh, the the all the soldiers play are very small. It's very hard to soldier if you don't have the experience.、Right? And this nameless RC, I'll make another video on the nameless RC things that you should know if you're using this nameless RC board, so that you won't you don't burn up the、uh, the board.、Uh, so that's my this is my TP3 or baby tooth three millimeter two S or three S、um, build.、Uh, I love it, and thanks to Kaba, FBB, and his partner Josh、uh, for pushing the manufacturer to to make.、Um, Better parts for us, and this is in,、um, it's very inexpensive compared to larger quads as well. So all these are actually、um, very good quality components, and it costs roughly about hundred fifty US dollar. 
and uh, this is actually considered cheap for high-end um, custom built quad. Um, this is without HD and without DVR. Right? So overall, uh, very uh, satisfied. I uh, love flying it. Um, and this, uh, the future for FPB is very, very, very good. The f um, in future, probably the a few things that uh, manufacturer needs to do is that they should conform court the the board and all the electronics. Um, so that's very important. So which will make it most of the electronics waterproof uh, because this if are expensive, especially for uh, non European or uh, so people in the still in the developing country. This is equivalent to about six hundred or seven hundred dollar US. And US is cheap. Uh, it's hundred U uh, hundred fifty US dollars. Um, but so for people who are not in the developed world yet, uh, who live in the country who are not still developing, so these are expensive. So we need to protect it, especially conformal coach the 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 component, so that it will be more. Uh, waterproof. Uh, the the next uh, future things that will um, make the F, uh, FBB uh, industry even better is the, the batteries. I think the battery now is quite good already, especially with this two-piece style. And because two-piece style uh, has very um, um, very minor stress on the battery, uh, but if they can get like smaller uh, battery or uh, make the uh, light bulb even better, even more lasting and cheaper. So that will be the very good for the uh, future of FPB as well. FPB as well. All right, that's all for this video. Hope you um, hope um, uh, um, you uh, you like it, and uh, you have gained something from this. If you like future uh, notification of future videos, remember to subscribe to the channel. And uh, so, the more people subscribe, the more people like it. Uh, probably, uh, hopefully, our in the future, uh, manufacturers will send like uh, parts in quad uh, for review. Yeah, so currently, I'm just review whatever that I order, whatever that I like, and I order. So it's uh, a bit limited at the moment. Uh, so it's um, just sharing my thoughts on my hobby. Uh, thank you everyone. Happy flying.